hello I'm going to be talking to you about good design today uh, specifically asking the question what is good design and we can all look at award-winning architecture can't we and say that that's good that's peer-reviewed that's backed up we know that's good design but some people will say well I don't need award-winning architecture but that doesn't mean you don't need good design so what I'm going to take you through is what good design is not. I'm going to do a bit of myth busting and then I'm going to tell you what good design will do. So firstly, good design is not more expensive. Good design is, is about looking at your brief as a whole. It's about coming up with the best quality solutions and decisions. It's about looking at the way you use your whole space not just about chucking extensions on. It doesn't have to eat into the budget because you're focusing on that quality and that doesn't mean that it has to be more expensive, but it is as important. It's still important. Good design is not only contemporary architecture. I think uh, there is a tendency, isn't there, to look on Pinterest or to watch grand designs and think that good design just means contemporary architecture. And if you want something more traditional, then maybe that isn't for you. But that's not the case. You're focusing on the quality. You're focusing on how good the design is, how well it works for you. And that can range from all different types of design, traditional detailing to contemporary detailing. But the goodness... <laughs> isn't in the style of the architecture, it's in the way that it has been executed, in the, the way the pr your problem has been solved, your pain has been solved, and how well it has been detailed. It's not in the type of architecture. And lastly, and what good design is not, it's not unimportant. It's not too much to want good design. You can have a single story rear extension in a very traditional style and that still has to be good if it's poor design and it's, it's poor quality that will be detrimental to your way of life to the building um and to your budget you know you, you why do you want to spend money on something that's poor design it's equally as important to have good design in that kind of project as it is uh, to have it in, you know, multi-million pound award-winning schemes. Good design is vital across the board. So it's never too much, whatever project that you are thinking of attempting. Now, good design will feel amazing to be in. When you are in a room, a space, a home that has been designed well, is well thought out, it will feel brilliant. It will feel perfect. And it won't feel brilliant because it's huge, because it's vast. It's not about the size of it. It's, it's about the quality of the space. And a good designer, as I said before, will look at a property holistically. And so you're not just going to have extension upon extension. You're not going to have warrens of rooms. You're not going to have elements that feel uncomfortable. Because even if you have to make a compromise on, you know, the structure and how much you can open something up, good design will work around those problems for you. Um, it will enhance your quality of life. Good design cannot be underestimated in what it gives to you. Good design takes into consideration things like light, which are vitally important for us to be happy and healthy in our homes. And good design will enable you to feel happy and at peace in the spaces you're in. It will enable you to function perfectly as a family, as a couple, as a person on their own in the home. You will always feel great. It will enhance your quality of life and it will add value to your home. When you're searching for properties to buy, when you walk into a place that feels perfect, that feels great, that feels well designed, you will invest in that because you know you're investing in something for the future and something for yourself. Everyone has probably been to see a property that has been poorly designed that they don't like. And it might be that it's not enough light. It might be there's a war on of spaces. It's uncomfortable. It's cold. 
so many reasons why a property can be poorly designed. So when you're choosing to invest, you should be investing to add value to your home in good quality design. And lastly, it will be beautiful. Good design is beautifully detailed, whether it is a single storey extension of traditional style or a multi-million pound new build home. Beautiful detailing is key and it doesn't mean that it's more expensive, but it will really add value, add quality to your quality of life, add value to your home just by being well executed. Now, how do you find the right professional? I've I've done videos on this, on how you employ your architect and what are the ways to achieve good, good, good design. It is by employing the right person for the job, the person that you get on with the most, the person who understands what you're looking for, who can execute your brief. And it is about um, writing the right brief, understanding your wants and your needs, your pains, your inspiration, all of that, understanding all of that. And what you must not do to be able to achieve good design is not compromise on the quality. So always maintain the quality of the design. It, that doesn't mean expensive, good quality doesn't mean expensive, but it means looking at those aspects that you, you just shouldn't cut back on, you shouldn't cut corners on because that it will detract from what you're trying to achieve. So I hope that's been useful today. Do take a look at the other couple of videos that I've talked about, employing your architect and the importance of writing your brief, both really useful alongside this video. And uh, yeah, and I'll see you next time. Bye.